All right, we are just going to take a look at the names of various parts of the nephron. We'll go into detail about each one of these things a little bit later, but for now, there's a whole lot of new vocabulary to swallow, so let's just take a look at this. Remember that each kidney has millions of these nephrons, and these are the functional units that actually allow the kidney to do what it actually does. So let's start with a few names here just to begin with. Um, here you have an arterial that comes in here and it goes blah, 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 and then it comes back out. The main thing to notice here is that, well, the one, one going in we call the afferent arterial and then when it's coming back, back out we call it the efferent arterial. I just remember that the letter A comes before the letter E, afferent to efferent. And then when I draw this, this is thinner. This is thinner and this is actually a, a wider aperture. Oh, maybe that wasn't the right word. This is wider. So what's going to happen is the blood that's coming through here eventually has to get squeezed through a smaller tube. So that creates very high pressure inside. So this all jumbled up part of the arterial is actually sounds like a glob. Therefore, I say glomerulus. It's called the glomerulus. All right. This whole thing right here that's keeping all of this in here uh, is called the Bowman's capsule. So in actuality, this is more wrapped around. This is like cut through the side uh, just to make this diagram, but this part is called the Bowman's capsule, okay? Bowman's capsule. What we're actually looking at, this whole thing is a nephron. I should have pulled that out first, but these are too small and I can't see what I wrote. Next, through this journey here, so if I'm a little molecule, uh, a little molecule traveling, oh, traveling down here, da 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 da, -da some of, the, some of the molecules are just going to come back out here, but some of them will actually get squeezed through onto this side. Once they get squeezed through, then their next journey is down this very complicated, messed up, uh, big roundabout tubule. I guess you could say it's convoluted, convoluted in a sense. And uh, it's closest to the entrance, if the entrance is over here. So I'm going to say it's very, uh, it's proximity. It's, Proximity to the entrance is very close, so I'm going to call this a convoluted proximal tubule, or I'll just rearrange it called the proximal convoluted tubule. So this section right here is called the proximal convoluted tubule. Um, I'm going to skip this for a second, but you can see over here there's another little convoluted part, which is a little bit more distant from this side. So this we actually refer to as the distal convoluted tubule. Down here you have this trombone type thing. This is very very cool in what it actually does, and this. Uh, it's kind of a turning point, a hairpin, I guess, but we actually call it a loop, a loop, and uh, it's named after this dude, Anle. And let me put this in the right spot. There you go, Anle, loop of Anle. This side is called not well. If you're coming down, it's called the descending loop. No big surprise. When it's coming back up, guess what? It's called the ascending loop. So the ascending loop. I think it'd be more appropriate to do something like this, the descending loop something like this all together and at the very end you have this thing called the collecting duct now i want you to understand what this picture is showing this picture is showing one collecting duct but here uh it's collecting from other ones of these guys so i wish i could is there a quick way for me to do it imagine there's another one of these nephrons and the end is actually stuck into here and another one that's stuck into here another one that's stuck in here another one that's plugged into here so a collecting duct actually is collecting the goods from many of these nephrons as they're combined together. I can't think of a quick way to show you that, except for uh, scribbling and a really horrible other one. So here's another convoluted tubule, another descending loop, ascending loop, and this one is emptying into here. There's another one. These are all like kind of in front of each other, and then there's a, there's another one over here, another glomerulus and they're all going like this. Okay, I hope I confused you more. But those are the main vocabulary words. See if you can wrap your tongue around all of that, and then you can hopefully uh, start to understand what the function of each of these is. But it's pretty cool, and what this actually does, and there's a great animation online from biologymad, I think, .com. Just type in interactive kidney in Google, and you'll get something really neat. All right, did you get all the vocab?